Welcome to Red Wolf TV's first new products video of March 2010. It's been almost a month since our last video. We apologize for that. We've had some rearranging in the office and now we have a lot of uploads to catch up with. So please bear with us as we get through them. But yes, we recently overhauled the architecture of our main website. We hope you enjoy the new low lag layout. That said, we know there are still kinks and bugs in the system. So please bear with us as we iron them out one at a time. In the next couple of weeks, we plan to film for you an instructional video on how to navigate the new website system and get the most out of its new functions. Anyway, back on topic. First up, the Boomsticks. The Bomber M16A4 Burst version. The externals are all metal GMP with the exception of the exquisite Prime CNC metal upper and lower receiver. The WA compatible internals clock in at 300 FPS. And of course, as the A4, it includes the three round burst kit. The three round burst fire replaces the fully automatic function on this weapon and this is accurate right down to the markings on the body. Out of the box, this weapon includes the full length rail system and rail top, a rear flip of iron sight, it includes the magazine and the tactical forger and the rail covers. This weapon comes in at 816 US dollars, which bearing in mind this includes the prime CNC metal body and the three round burst kit, it's actually a fantastic steal. For those of you looking to complete your contemporary US Army loadout now, act now while stocks last. Also in our ooh category, we have this. The Red Wolf Custom Guns Workshop Bomber Custom M733. It's made in the extremely limited number of one. This thing not only replicates the M733 down to the smallest details, but it actually looks like a slightly used one right out of a veteran's personal armory. The on-colored black plastics with the slightly off-colored gray metal body complete with gracefully aged edges and high points. If you want to put together a Vietnam War era American Spec Ops Commando kit with a GBB rifle, you cannot do better than this. At 943 US dollars, it might not be the cheapest GBB in the world. That said, as a one-off super custom piece below 1000 US dollars, it is a fantastic deal for the choice collector. So for those of you for, who care for real quality, act now. The only thing this thing is missing is a VN style short 20 round magazine. We bring you this short VN style 20 round magazine. It comes with all the awesomeness of a pro win magazine in two thirds the size and twice the awesomeness. Yes. Yes. Some of you will have seen the video for this little beast already. And for those of you who haven't, do so right now. Seriously. The Airsoft Innovation Crash Impact Tornado Grenade. Utilizing the same blast storm technology of the original version, it replaces the delay mechanism with an impact trigger assembly. Available now for pre-order. Some of you may have seen this before in a previous Red Wolf TV episode on an AEG. Now, GMP brings us this for the WA. Vault or upper, mag for lower, can all over. Dust cover and screws. Anyway, just added to our lineup the Magpul MOE AFG. For those of you who know what this is, now we stock it in FG. For those of you who don't, you need to get out more. The Ares EGLM 40mm Moscard Grenade Launcher. Not technically a new product per se, but now Ares offers it separate from the SCAR. It includes both the L and H rear mechanisms. New to our lineup, a range of new Blade Tech holsters. Unlike injection molded plastics, which are made from molten plastic directly injected into the mold holster form, Kydex is rolled into sheets and then bent around the shape in a softened state. The result of this layer technique with this material is a much more robust design, a higher quality material, rigidity in one direction and flexibility in another. They also feature a spring-loaded release hood. Some versions come with the tech lock a latch secured swing open belt clasp with variable belt thickness adjustment bar whilst other versions come with a more traditional ASR style rigid belt loop we stock these in four different model versions one for the G17 one for the SIG 226R one for the High Kappa and one for the Kimba Desert Warrior we carry them in three different colors bodacious black delicious dark earth and fulgent foliage green.
Also from Playtech, we stock these single magazine holders. One for the Glock, one for 1911s, and one for the High Kappa, though not yet for the SIG. Also, we stock these curious little devices, quad magazine holders, one for 1911 magazines and the other for Glock. Last but certainly not least, we have these quirky little things, khaki colored holsters for Leatherman Wave multi-tools. This guy also brings us some stuff, the Airsoft Turgeon Infinity Style Carbon Seymour Mount. This allows you to mount a sight which lets you see more while itself is made of carbon. CNC from high grade aluminium, reinforced with carbon fiber panels. Coming in at less than 60 grams, it's incredibly light, incredibly strong, and it looks absolutely fabulous. Airsoft Surgeon also brings us a couple of slides, including this one for the KSC G34, a Shoei Custom gold medal slide. The two tone black and silver finish slide includes a compensated barrel and an even more compensated slide. Also, for the Marui G17, we have this the Caspian hybrid slide. The exquisite two-tone Caspian slide comes in with a hybrid barrel. What does that mean? The barrel block is cut into a slot in the slide. So when it recoils, it does this. Not technically a new product, but an honorable mention. Now back in stock, Sistema Professional Challenge Kits in M4A1 and CQBR flavors in both M110 springs and M130 springs. In a previous New Products video, you would have seen this before from Action. It's the converter adapter to allow AKs to take AR front ends. Now, Action releases them as kits, which include a front rail and outer barrel. It comes in a vast variety of lengths and sizes, so do check out our website for fine details. They vary in prices between 130 and 160 US dollars. Also available are the very same variations of rails and outer barrels without the adapter for direct installation onto standard AR platforms. There's over a dozen different actual products varying in price anywhere from 130 to 190 US dollars. So to check out those fine-tuned details, do check out our website directly. Also from Action are these quirky AUG A3-esque front conversion EOD kits. It includes the rail system and a separatable monolithic upper rail for installation onto your AUG. It also includes outer barrels. One in A3 flavor and the other with a tank brake. Ditac brings us a dummy PBS 14 monoscope. For those of you putting together MilSim kits, including those helmets with the night vision clasps, and you want to put something on it for realism, well, now you actually have some slightly more practical options. Instead of using your expensive night vision scope that you don't want to get shut up, or you don't want to spend the money on such a device in the first place, now we have the dummy monoscope option. It attaches to the standard night vision clamp clasp on a standard helmet. And as I said, it's only a dummy scope. It's a cheap plastic tube. The bracket allows installation as normal, so it can be folded up, down onto the face, and then even swung between the two different eyes. Milspecs brings us their PVS style monoscope as well. This one includes a bracket to be installed directly onto a rail system or onto a helmet as well. And this one is actually a three times magnifier with a built in red dot laser. We do point out that although it is PVS stylistically, it's not actually the PVS design, but it's pretty close, and it does what it says on the box, so we're happy with it. So now you can get your Borg on. <laughs> For customer convenience, we've actually introduced a new protocol. To find these products quickly, go to our website and into the search bar. For the products in this video, type in NP001 and hit enter. Besides the products mentioned in this video, there is a veritable plethora of other products which didn't make it in. So, to check those out and other various awesome products, check out our website at www.redwolfsr.com.